Take this. It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. If he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. I want to be honest with him, but if that guy's going to listen in and I'm not going to get things sorted with Lord Andros, then... Oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. <laughs> he asked for brawn. Well, you're here. Might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger, and you've come seeking my help? Not Actually, that I'd be of much use to you. Kind of. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I thought we were friends, Lord Tyrion. I thought so as well. Yet, here you are. <laughs> you brought wine. How thoughtful of you. And you didn't even have to hide it. <laughs> didn't hide it in a bush or anything. Hmm. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself the trouble of a trial. Does he know Cersei sent me? You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. And I've grown tired of talking to myself. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. <laughs> mm. Some things are worth dying for. Wait until you drink some, and then I can decide. No, okay, drink it at the same time. Then if we die, we die. But I know he's not going to die. That's the thing. You so, know he's not going to die. Why are you here? It's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. Willingly. I've been worried about you, Lord Tyrion. Oh, have you? <laughs> you may be the only person in all of King's Landing who doesn't want to see my head on a spike. You and Podrick. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty. Aww. But I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. I feel so bad to screw him over, but it's for my family again, which I feel bad for saying, but this it's This is true. all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. There's a guard right there. I can't say it loud. Can I whisper? You've come to set me free. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. <laughs> I'm afraid not, unfortunately. Unfortunate for us both. Yeah. I guess. So, tell me. Cersei sent you, didn't she? He's listening. I know I'm not wrong. Um... The truth, Mira. No more lies. Are you toying with me? I might ask you the same question. I can't say it out loud, now dude. Tell me the truth. Admit it. Cersei sent you. I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The guards have never let anyone in with wine. Yeah, but I can't say that with the guards. That was right your there. first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. He's smart, but. I, I wish like you'd him. had the courage to tell me the truth. So do I, but there's a Not God. that I'm above drinking her wine. I told you to be careful. You'll twist your words. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Let me handle this. We're not done talking. Yeah. You heard the girl. Back off. Go. Bruh. Imp. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, clearly. Which is why you're here. Doing her bidding. I'm using her. And my what family. would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. Lady Marjorie doesn't know. And I intend to keep it that way. You're right. fooling yourself if you think it's your secret to keep. Yes, yeah, Cersei. And without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. Cersei will screw me. What should I tell Cersei? You're a clever girl. I'm sure you'll think of something. Although I would suggest you choose your words carefully. Cersei would be far less amused if she catches you in a lie. 
I have to give her a list of names. Tell her I'll call Shagger, son of Dolph from the Mountain Clans. Oh, and Timid, and Cella, and the, the Scepter who raised me, assuming she's still alive. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! I wish you well, Lady Mira. So aggressive, that dude. Calm down. Careful who you trust. I don't trust anyone anymore, Tim. I wish I could tell you the truth, but... I should have just come out and said it, because in the end he found out anyway. So, I kind of wish I'd just said, you know what, yeah. She did send me. That's a sexy back scar you've got there. You've got a few, actually. Elena? What's she leave? Elena! Sorry, didn't mean to wake you. Elena. You didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. I... I hope you don't have any regrets. About what? About this. About us. Of course not. I've never felt more certain about anything. I'm glad. I wasn't sure of you. With all that's happened. I wasn't going to bring up half this death in this situation. Can you imagine? Do you have any regrets? Only your brother dying. Uh, apart from that, it's fine. What will we do now? We'll fight. Now that we're... Uh, what we are. We enjoy what we have. As long as we can. I plan to. <laughs> and then we'll get married. Roderick? Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes, Talia. I'm sorry. I thought you were alone. Well, Good morning, Talia. I'm not. <laughs> Hello, Elena. Oh, she's so I, red. I didn't realize you two were. I mean, I didn't realize she was. <laughs> I'm just making this worse, aren't I? It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. She's it's so just, red. This is urgent, Roderick. What is it? And it's it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. Are you taking my soon. I hope. Are you taking my bed covers with you? I need those. Elena. Elena, where are you going with my bed covers? I need those. What am I gonna Women. Alright then. I'm listening. Last night I couldn't I was having nightmares. So I Go on, Talia. I went back there. Went back where? To the grove. Oh. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Oh. <gasps> Where Griff and the White Hill Garrison are being held. He even talks about Elena. Thank God you found this, Talia. Big up, Talia. It's everything. Who left it? I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. Just tell me Tom, the name! I need to know who it was. <laughs> He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. It He's does a matter. Traitor. He endangered our house. I need to know. You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. Dahlia, I'll do the right thing. You know me. I do know you. That's why I need you to promise. Promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you, as your sister... Do I promise? Make him pay. <laughs> I give you my word, Talia. Traitor will get what he deserves. Don't be Duncan, please. Now, tell me. Come with me. Please don't He's be in Duncan. in the Great Hall. As long as it's not Duncan, right? He's in the Great Hall, so it could still be like the Maester. It could be Duncan, could be Sir Royland. Just don't be Duncan, please, because I don't want to have to kill him. I promised I would, though, but I don't want to have to if it's Duncan. I shouldn't have promised. Should I? I shouldn't have promised. I should have said I can't promise it. I have to judge it. 
Go get the guns. I have to judge it by what I see. But whoever it is is screwing over House Forrester royally, so... Is it Royland? Hey! Oh, my lord. You scared the bloody daylights out. What's that? You tell me. You don't scare me, Roderick. I've known you since you were a boy. Back when you still had a spine. Why did you do it? Why? Why did you do it? Your father was the greatest lord I've ever known. But you! You've brought this house to ruin! So you want to destroy it even more? You pushed me to this, Roderick. You brought it upon yourself. I trusted you, Roland. With my life. Chap, you'll trust anyone who makes the right noises. You know why? Because you're weak. Well, apparently I made a mistake you're with you. Weak, just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. He's jealous. A boy. Ethan was a fool. And you've been making fool choices too since the day you crawled off that corpse car. Oh, I'll kill him. Kissing Lud's ring when you knew we had to show strength. For my brother. Letting Griff force you to the ground without a shred of dignity. For my sister. <laughs> Going to High Point without any soldiers, despite my every warning. Because I'm a boss. Hell, you even managed to get Arthur killed. That wasn't... Enough, Royland. <laughs> That wasn't my... You've had every opportunity to save this family, but you've squandered them all. No, Your you've betrayed us at every turn. Shamed. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. So you turn your cloak. That's your answer. I'm not going to stand by and watch you destroy this family. But you're destroying it. You're driving House Forrester the way of the Starks. Rather be honourable the, the Starks. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to me. I swore to your father. I'd swear to Asher if he were here. But you're a cripple who can barely hold a sword. What a bastard. Asher knows how to act. All you do is limp between defeats. Asher would kill you. Asher would cut your traitor heart out. Oh, I don't doubt it. He has more balls than you ever will. So... <laughs> Roderick, it's Griff, he's gone. Somebody set him free. Found him. Sir Royland, it would have been him. You're doing. They were going to ambush you at the trade. I just saved your life. But Ryan. Ryan. How could you? You just screwed this Ryan. This was his doing. You screwed Ryan over, you dick. We're killing him. Oh, we're killing him. I'm glad I promised to tell just you Just sentence me and be done with it. Roderick, you promised. I know. And Kill I. Kill me. And Asher dies too. <gasps> How? Please, Roderick. What do you mean? I know Lud's plans. Spare my life. And I'll tell you everything. Perhaps we should hear him out. He's only saying that to save himself. You must decide, my lord. You must be loving this. I promised. Thing. And Believe he's a traitor. Me, I'm not. <laughs> You were wrong about me, Royland. I do have the balls. Now die like the bitch you are. Asher won't die. It was the right thing. Asher won't die. Asher's a boss. What He's got his army. Said. We have to warn Asher. He'll be okay. We can't, not if he's at sea. My lord, what do we do? So we couldn't have warned him anyway. We ride for the coast, bring Asher home. Prepare the horses. We're gonna defend my brother. He threw his staff away. Nice! He threw his staff in the fire. So we're gonna ride down to the coast and we're gonna defend Asher and bring him home, I guess. And then and then we'll be ready for war. That's awesome.